North Korea and Russia commemorate the 70th anniversary of the Korean War Armistice, and then they witnessed an exhibition of advanced military equipment where several drones closely resemble sophisticated American drones. Yesterday, on Wednesday, the Russian Minister of Defense had a special meeting with North Korean leader Kim Jong-un. This meeting was part of the Russian delegation's visit to celebrate the 70th anniversary of the Korean War Armistice. The visit of the Russian delegation to North Korea is of significant importance because North Korea is one of the few countries openly supporting Russia in the war in Ukraine. Although North Korea denies involvement in weapon transactions with Russia, Western bloc countries accused North Korea of sending weapons to Russia in November of last year. Before we continue, don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel so you won't miss other interesting information. During the meeting, Kim Jong-un invited the Russian Minister of Defense to tour a North Korean defense exhibition showcasing new weaponry, including intercontinental ballistic missiles. One of the exhibited missiles was the Wuzong-18, which has the capability to carry a nuclear warhead. This development raises concerns as it contradicts international efforts led by the UN. The Wuzong-18 represents a technological leap in North Korea's missile program. It is an improvement over the liquid-fueled missile system. During testing, the missile was able to fly for 74 minutes, making it the longest flight time ever recorded for any weapon launched by North Korea. The difference between the Wuzong-18 and other liquid-fueled missiles, such as the Wuzong-17, lies in the preparation time before launch. Liquid-propelled systems require more time to prepare the fuel and require more systems and personnel support. However, solid-fueled missiles, like the Wuzong-18, make sudden attacks easier and harder to detect. In addition to the missiles, Kim Jong-un also showcased new unmanned aerial vehicles or drones to the Russian Minister of Defense. These drones resemble the American-made MQ-9 Reaper and our Q-4 Global Hawk. These North Korean drones have three weapon stations on each wing, more than the American MQ-9, which only has two weapon stations per wing. However, a mystery surrounds these North Korean drones due to the presence of satellite communication SATCOM bumps typically used in conjunction with appropriate communication satellites from neighboring countries like China. In this regard, North Korea's ability to imitate American-made drone technology is still questionable. The main characteristics of the MQ-9 Reaper include its dimensions, with a wingspan of 66 feet, 20 meters, and a length of 36 feet, 11 meters. This drone can fly at a maximum altitude of 15,000 meters and has a speed of up to 480 kilometers per hour. The MQ-9 is equipped with various sensors that enable it to gather intelligence and surveillance data. It is still unclear where North Korea obtained the technology to manufacture these drones, but their appearance occurred about two and a half years ago after an order from Kim Jong-un to produce unmanned attack equipment and reconnaissance aircraft with a range of 500 kilometers. Nevertheless, North Korea's ability to fully replicate some of the more complex components and subsystems of American drones remains doubtful. High-tech sensors used in the MQ-9 Reaper and our Q-4 Global Hawk seem to be beyond North Korea's current technological capabilities. That's it, thank you for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel so you won't miss military information and other interesting technological developments.